What's up, you guys? I'm Taxors. Welcome to Setup Wars episode 256. I might as well call this the ultimate edition because we do have some banger setups to show off today. But before we jump in, I do want to ask you guys for a huge favor. Uh, I want to know what edition of Setup Wars is your favorite, right? It's got to be between the four popular ones right now, which is Budget Edition, Ultimate Edition, Teen, and Clean and Minimal. So if you guys have some time, please click the straw poll link below and cast your vote. I'm really curious to see or hear which version of Setup Wars is your favorite. If you guys want to be a part of the show, make sure to watch the video link below to learn how to enter. But with that said, sit back and relax because you know what time it is. Sitting in the wrong posture or sitting in an uncomfortable chair for hours at a time can be very bad for your back. I've actually recently upgraded my chair to the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro and you'll get to see more of the setup during the full setup tour later this year. But what I love most about this chair is all of the adjustability points it has. I can literally adjust any part I want to get that perfect posture. You can adjust the height, the armrest, headrest, backrest, and even tilt the seat. Being 6'2", there's a lot of chairs that don't fit me, which is why I love the chair so much because I can actually lean back onto the headrest. In the summers, my back would always get sweaty leaning up against the chairs, but with the Ergo Chair Pro, that doesn't happen anymore because of the woven mesh design. But overall, I'm really happy with this upgrade and so is my back. So if you guys are unhappy with your current chair or maybe you are looking to improve your overall health, then make sure to check the link in the description section to learn more. Kicking off the episode is a setup that's out of this world. We have a beautiful custom made setup that's powered by a Surface Book 3 laptop. Andreas is an architecture student from Wales, UK that used his experience in architecture to design and 3D print most of the parts from scratch. The result is this super clean and futuristic looking setup that belongs on Mars. The giant piece, which is also the centerpiece of the setup, isn't just for aesthetics, but actually provides function as well. It doubles as a desk lamp and a shelf. It's got the same function as those mono lights that we see on people's setups, except his lights up the entire desk and he has complete control over what color to use since they are integrated RGB strips. On top of that, he also 3D printed two smaller shelves that he attached on the top. One of them holds his controller, which also has a tiny storage tray underneath, while the other one is a custom phone stand with a built-in wireless Qi charger. Wow. As I mentioned earlier, the setup doesn't have a desktop PC. Instead, it's being powered by a single Surface Book 3 with a custom-made cooler in the back. Check this out. This dude slapped on a USB-powered 120mm fan with custom exhaust fins to help with cooling. I just love the synergy in this setup. He pulls out the Surface Book when he needs to use it while he uses a top display for multitasking, but when he's using both displays at the same time, he brings in his wireless keyboard and mouse. Everything is so color coordinated, I love it. He skinned a portion of the keyboard in white and went with white keycaps to stick with the white on black color scheme. But you know what would look even better in your setup, Andreas? One of my new badass mouse pads. The black topo design, in my opinion, would look amazing. And if you want one for free, just hit me up on my Discord and I'll send it over to you. You guys would never guess where he built this setup. It's actually in his kitchen, hence why there are curtains in the back to cover everything up. There aren't any speakers for the setup. Instead, he only uses the SteelSeries Arctis 9s, which are hanging from a custom 3D printed hanger. I do want to take a moment to appreciate the clean and symmetrical cable management. We got six separate raceways all leading to the center power strip. Job well done. It's insane looking at how much progress you have made since the beginning. And to see the setup transform so much over the years is truly inspirational. What a refreshing and creative setup to start the show. Thank you, Andreas, for sharing this masterpiece with us. Coming up next is Darko from Austria and his pretty sweet dual monitor setup. So he built this in his living room because his bedroom now belongs to both of his kids and there just isn't enough space left. Sacrifices were definitely made. Darko's original setup submission didn't get featured on setup boards, unfortunately, so this is his second attempt. The setup's purpose is for gaming, mixing, and mastering music with a bit of video editing as well. We got dual 27-inch Asus monitors on top of a sit and stand desk with the Logitech G915 keyboard and G903 mouse. And then for audio, he's got three pairs of headphones, the AKK92s, HyperX Cloud 2s, and the SteelSeries Arctis Pros, which he mostly uses for gaming and YouTube. 
As you can see, most of the stuff is mounted on the wall, mostly because he has two kids running around the house, so he mounted both of his speakers and added a wall shelf up top to hold his custom PC. This is also his very first custom loop he has ever done, and I gotta say, it turned out pretty damn epic. Doing a triple bend for the top tubes is no easy task for a beginner, so the fact that you pulled it off is pretty damn impressive. What's not impressive is the cable management. I mean, you did a pretty good job with the wires underneath the desk, but everywhere else needs more attention. You have a bunch of cables left on the desk, and the white sleeves hanging from the top just isn't aesthetically pleasing to look at. It could use a bit more personality as well, but overall, given the space constraints, it's not a bad setup. Thank you, Darko, for sharing this with us. Flavio coming in hot with this epic dual setup. He's a marketing manager from Florida that built both of these setups in six months to be able to work from home and play games. What a perfect combo. We got a corner desk layout with two IKEA Carly countertops, a few Alex drawers, and a sit and stand base for the other setup. I love that he's able to separate work from play on two dedicated setups, which is also great for guests that come over and want to play co-op games. Starting off with the main setup that features a single 49-inch super ultra-wide monitor from Monoprice. Then moving on over to peripherals, he's got the glorious Model D in white with a pretty sweet looking keyboard, the glorious GMMK TKL with glorious panda switches and Star Wars keycaps. Nice. Only the main setup has speakers, while he alternates the Razer Nari headset between both setups. One thing I would recommend is picking up some speaker stands for the Pioneer DJs for several reasons. First reason is to bring the speakers closer to ear level for a better listening experience. And two, some speakers tend to rattle at high volume, so putting them on a stand with foam dampening will help reduce the rattle. I have my speakers on the 6-inch Canto stands and they work great. Plus, it will match the colors of your speakers as well. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link below. Alright, enough about speaker stands, moving on to the rest of the setup. So we do have some nanoleaf panels on the top for a bit of decoration. And I can see that you ran the cable alongside the wall using clips instead of a raceway. Good choice. The rest of the cables under the desk do seem to be managed quite well with the help of a few signum racks, but one thing that bothers me is the shelf holding up your other keyboards. I'm curious as to why you didn't try and center it with a monitor, or at the very least, go with a symmetrical design with the nanoleaf panels. The PC Power in the main setup is a beautiful custom water-cooled system. Finally, we get to see some new-gen PC parts. We got the Ryzen 9 5900X and the AMD RX 6800 XT underwater. Superb work with the bends, and I'm loving that 5-inch display you added in the back of the case as well. That's something I'm definitely doing for Big Red version 4 later this year. The other setup is more simple, but it's mostly used for work, so it has all the necessities to get the job done, but it still has enough juice to play games, because the PC is equipped with a Ryzen 5 1600X and the GTX 1060. Such an awesome dual setup, thank you Flavio for sharing this with us. I'm seeing a bunch of Dragon Ball Super wallpapers in this setup, so I got a feeling I'm gonna love this next submission. Coming in at number 4 is Gianni from the US of the A and his dual setup that was built with the help of his dad. Gianni is also an active member of the Discord server that goes by the name of G-Man. Welcome to the show, my guy. So the main difference between this dual setup and the one before is that both of these setups are powered by a single PC. But wait till you hear the specs of that beast later on. So I guess the point of the setup is so we can easily transition between them by rotating his chair. On one side, we have a 49-inch Samsung Odyssey monitor that he mounted against a desk, which is probably used for immersive gaming or watching content, while the other setup is for multitasking, working, and probably competitive gaming, since it does have a higher 240Hz refresh rate. For peripherals, he is using the same mouse for both setups, but we have the Corsair K70 RGB with the dual monitor setup and the K95 Platinum X with the Super Ultrawide. I'm pretty sure you are aware of the monitor blocking off both of your speakers, so I'm curious as to why you placed them there. The very least you can do is remove the stands and place them sideways, that way they don't get blocked off. But if you want a better alternative, you can buy these stands and place them on your desk and put the speakers on them. Since they are height adjustable, you can raise the speakers right above your monitors. They might not look super clean, but it's a much better alternative than what you've got going on now. I will give you some credit on the cable management. Looks like most of the wires are under control with multiple raceways, but there are some loose wires from the speakers and a few more showing from the dual monitors. Of course, we can't forget about the box of tissues for those very special nights, but I want to take a closer look at the custom hybrid water cool system in the corner that's powering it all. Not only do we have a 10900K in here, 
but it's also packing 32 gigs of RAM and the MSI RTX 3090. Damn, I am impressed. I guess it was going for a Joker themed color scheme, but it could use some more combs to straighten up the cables a bit. I do want to take this moment and explore the rest of the room because the more I'm looking at these pictures, the more I'm realizing that there is so much more. Apparently this is a man cave as well. I'm beginning to think that Gianni is a bigger Dragon Ball fan than I am, judging by all of his posters in the room. He's got a dedicated console and entertainment setup on the other side with a 75 inch 4K TV and a few consoles underneath, like the Switch and PS5. Alright, so the setup itself is pretty damn epic, but unfortunately it's not well thought out and executed. Starting from the speaker placement, to the uneven alignment of both of the monitors, and even the Alex drawer underneath the desk. Like, why would you position it that way, where the top drawer is blocked off, and the rest of them are inconvenient to reach? I feel like just adding more support legs in the corner would have sufficed. There's definitely potential here, and room to improve, which is what Setup Wars is about, but nonetheless, it's a pretty epic man cave that you shared with us. Thank you, Gianni, for entering. Wrapping up the episode, we have a mailman from Georgia and his all-black minimalistic setup. There's actually a funny story behind this submission. He's an active member on the Discord server right now, but a while back, he shared a picture of his setup in the setups channel, and I just so happened to be there roasting the poor kid on his cable management. So what does he do? Instead of going in the other room crying to his mommy, he did something about it. He fixed up the cable mess, upgraded a few things, and bam, here we are with a complete setup. The purpose is for gaming, binge watching movies, photo editing, and possibly streaming in the near future. I just love the way he stacked all of his displays with a 50 inch up top and both 24 inch monitors on the bottom, but he made sure to leave some spacing in between for his wireless soundbar. This is how I know that he spent time planning for the setup, it just shows in the execution. So Jordan went with an old black color scheme so that he can let the wallpaper and the lights do all the talking. He's able to change it the theme to anything he wants since the rest of the colors in the setup are neutral. He went with the HyperX Alloy Elite keyboard with the Razer Basilisk mouse. And if I didn't mention it, you guys probably wouldn't even notice his awesome mic placement. Talk about inconspicuous, 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 inconspicuous. I can't say that word. Inconspicuous. Talk about inconspicuous. He has a blue Yeti mic hooked up to a blue mount that's tucked away behind the monitors when not in use. He does own a few consoles as well. We got a PS4 tucked between the desk and the drawer and an Xbox One S mounted beautifully on the side of the Alex unit. But he mostly plays on the big boy custom PC, which just looks incredible. We have the Ryzen 9 3900 XT paired with the EVGA RTX 3080. Could you ask for a more perfect looking system to complement the amazing setup? Jordan has checked off all the boxes when it comes to a complete setup. We got symmetry, synergy, cable management, and a little bit of personality to top it all off. Fantastic work, and thank you for sharing this with us. And that will do it for today's video. As always, make sure you guys comment below. Let me know which of these setups was your absolute favorite, and maybe let me know why, because I'm always reading the comment section, so I'm curious why you guys picked that specific setup. If you guys are enjoying Season 5 so far, as always, make sure to toss a like to let me know. And if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing, because I do host Setup Wars every single Monday. As always, thank you guys so much for that. I was so close. So close. I'm just going to go with it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, love your beautiful nose hairs, and I will see you very soon in the next one.